when you look in the past at AWS Associate Exam, the cheapest way possible, I'm going to give you some great free and cheap resources that helped me pass and my methods of study. This is also still how I study to this day as a cloud solutions architect. The cloud gang of TikTok has requested this video. It's so dope for us to be at 11K and up now. Also stick around for some bonus resources. Let's get into this short but hopefully impactful video. This that Fenty fried chicken, that Fenty fried chicken. Hey VFC fam, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your Venti Fried Chicken author and global cloud slinger, book link in description. This channel is dedicated to cloud computing and technology. So if you're interested in cloud or tech, subscribe for weekly content. So let's get started. So step number one, review the AWS exam guide. Make sure to pay attention to those white papers. And I wouldn't skip over the FAQs either for the major services. Number two, watch courses at 2x speed. Have you always wanted to feel like Neo from the Matrix? This is your chance. I do 2x speed so that I can basically download the information because really, at the end of the day, the main part is getting your hands on stuff. So why not speed through the theory? The courses that I recommend come both from Free Code Camp here on YouTube. The Solution Architect has a really wide scope, but it's not very deep, so you're covering a lot of ground, which is why it's a really good start to start. You can check out that free course above. For the Dev Associate, it's a smaller scope, but it goes a little bit deeper into the more DevOps focus for this Associate exam. This was the first exam that I passed, and the reason I took it was because I had a developer background. So if you're coming from a general programming background, this might be the best one to start with. You can check out that course above as well. Lastly, but not least, you have the SysOps Associate, which I would take third if I was to gauge how you should take these exams. The SysOps exam is all about performance monitoring for the most part, with some core services stuff sprinkled about. So for number three, back to what I was talking about, make sure that you're spending the most time on the labs, AKA the hands-on, because the exam is scenario-based. You won't pass for memory bingo, this is not college. Number four, use WizLab's exam guides. I've used WizLab's anytime that I pass an exam. They're a place I've been vouching for for years, even way before I got any affiliate links or anything like that. Speaking of those links, you can find those in the description. This knowledge costs you nothing, so if you guys you know, buy some exams from Wiz Labs, please use my links. Appreciate it, Cloud Game. And before I get into the last thing, which is the bonus material, if you haven't so far, I encourage you to subscribe and like this video if you think it was helpful so far. So to make this whole process even easier, if you're lazy like me, I've created an exam guide for you guys. You can find this free resource in the description. Here are a few but honorable paid mentions. A Cloud Guru is really great and they just bought Linux Academy, which gives it a crazy library for learning. I would also check out Pluralsight because I found some really great analytics course specifically for cloud there. But to wrap up, I really want to hear from you all. Let me know in the comments what exam that you're targeting and why. And if you pass the associate level exams, please let us know what you use as well. Also, if you're interested in some project ideas as far as like what you should add to your portfolio, I suggest you check out the suggested video at the end of this video. Train, inspire, relate, cloud.